a first look at Microsoft Office Online. In this video series, I'll be discussing the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint Office Online versions. These differ from the desktop versions, such as Microsoft Office 2013. The desktop application has much more functionality, but Office Online is a great alternative, a much lighter version, but can be accessed from anywhere. It can also be very easily shared. Here, I've logged into my account, and I've clicked on OneDrive. This is where my documents are stored. They're stored in the cloud, and I can manage these documents very easily from here. In this video series, you'll get a brief tour and a brief overview of each one. Things will look different from the desktop version, but there are several different options to get the job done. And don't forget, you can certainly use the desktop applications and then save to your OneDrive, then open them up and make quick changes using Office Online. First, I'll click on this Excel document called Burlington Charts, Excel Online opens, and I can edit my workbook. I can use the full functionality of Microsoft Excel, or I can edit in Excel Online. And then I'll click back. Next, I'll click on a PowerPoint presentation called Business Project Plan. Here it is. I can click through my slides right from here. And I can also edit that presentation using the full functionality of PowerPoint or in PowerPoint Online. Next, I'll click on a Word document called Employee Handbook. You'll notice again I can edit this document using Word or Online. And on the top, you can see I have several different options for the Word Online document, and similar ones are offered for the other online applications. Since this is John Keller's OneDrive account, we can see his name in a couple of different places on this screen. I'll click back. And as you can see, everything that I'm doing is within my browser. And again, that means I can access these files from anywhere since they're stored in the cloud. And that's a first look at Microsoft Office Online.